Hi you, welcome to my recovery diaries. malnourishment, hormone levels that regulate tissue growth are decreased and cells become resistant to their effects. You need to provide your body with more glucose for normal body functions and normal body movements. The same hormones that contribute to build lean body mass and body fat remain ineffective when you begin to eat more. At this point, energy that you put in your body is provide to just keeping your organs working. So at the first stage of gaining weight, you're restoring your normal organs and you're giving your organs just to live, just to keep you living. This is a difficult and a really long process because it's just like you didn't became anorexic overnight. It took a long period of time of just losing weight. It will take your body a long period of time to restore the tissues that are lost throughout the starvation, to start building muscle, to start repairing your body inside out. So the first step in gaining weight is to move your body from the hydrated state to hydrated state. This can occur suddenly. It can be really uncomfortable just to wake up the next morning and you're huge, you're really bloated, you're bloated all the time. This can be also, this can affect you mentally. You can be really anxious and depressed and just severely uncomfortable around yourself and you're very very hungry at this first step of weight gain because you just realize that you can actually have a lot of food and your body is realizing that you're feeding it and you're craving a lot of food you are consuming a lot of food from all different sources and this is making you drink a lot of water this is why you are bloated all the time because your body is thirsty after the food you ate. Many actually are worried about developing a uh, refeeding belly, which is actually there, there is no scientific proof about that. So research indicates that weight gain will first occur in the abdomen before it goes to legs and hands. This can be really uncomfortable because you gain weight on your belly around your belly but your hands and your legs are still really thin and really anorexic looking but this is totally normal because this is your way your body is protecting your viral organs because you don't have viral organs right here or right here your viral organs are here in your belly they are keeping you alive and your body just want to save them your body just want to protect them because it doesn't know when will be the next time it will be in a starvation mode part two of weight gain will be just restoring your physical body and your body gaining and building muscle again because your body repaired all the organs and your organs are working normally your period just came maybe or maybe not it really depends on a person about the period i will also make a separate video on that but your body is starting to build muscle your body is starting to have shape again and then we move to weight restoration which is a really really interesting topic weight restoration is not an optional part in recovery it is essential part so weight restoration is a process of eating disorder recovery refers to an individual reaching weight stability so the individual will reach the weight that they are able to maintain for the long run their individual perfect weight for their body and for their state for their age so weight restoration following the eating disorder recovery person can take up to several months it really depends on how sick the person is and how much weight the person needs to gain so you will not start 
restoring your weight until you, you didn't overshoot your weight. You gotta overshoot your weight and you gotta just like look a bit bigger for your body just to slowly starting to figure out what will work for you and who you need to become and what is your individual perfect weight to live your life. Your body will lose the extra weight normally and gradually without any push without any diet so if you start to follow diet if you start to slip up in your mind don't do it because you are going to need to go through that process all over again so you gotta let your body decide when is the perfect time for you to restore your weight you just it's just going to happen gradually it's just going to happen you're not going to notice it it's just your body is really really smart and just give it a time so while you are in weight restoration uh, period, you might also experience a lot of bloating, farting, going to bathroom like really, really often and just like feeling sick to your stomach, feeling always full, but you are mentally still hungry and then you're really confused like do I need to eat, should I eat, do, do I really need to eat because I'm already really big you need to continue to eat to stop that you gotta continue to eat and believe in the process believe in the process of recovery and my huge tip for that is just don't compare numbers don't look at the numbers don't count calories just enjoying the process just give your body rest because it, this process is going to be so so interesting to you this is going to be just really beautiful process for your self-growth not just for your physical body but you are also growing your mind it is about returning your mind to a normal healthy state where you can think normally where you just not thinking about the food 24 7. weight restoration can take months weeks it really depends on a person and how much weight the person needs to gain and and just on a body of an individual i cannot tell you i think for me it looked like uh, i was in overshoot my weight and it took me like maybe like month and a half, maybe two, to get to my normal weight that I'm still keeping. And I still don't know what this weight is. I just know that I don't look the same as I look like two months ago when I was at my heaviest weight. I didn't weigh myself. I just, I just knew physically like looking myself in a mirror. Like I just knew that I gained a lot more and now I just I'm maintaining this weight normally weight for a really long time and I think my body is really comfortable because I can think comfortably I can enjoy my life normally and we don't choose our illness but you can choose to be better every single day weight gain is not going to go forever you are going to be happy at the end I am still going through this process and sometimes I still do experience extremely hungry when I'm just extremely hungry sometimes I experience that sometimes I'm not that hungry but it really depends on a day and how I live my life that day and how I feel am I anxious am I depressed am I happy am I sad am I excited it really depends but you're just going to be way more loving and enjoyable person to be around and you're just going to live life again so weight gain is rebuilding and living your life that you should be living for a long time i hope this was like clear enough for you i really took a lot of effort in this i will put all the links of the blogs that i've been using and my playlist of weight gain will also be up there and i also recommend for you to go watch stephanie Bottomore youtube channel because she's the biggest inspiration my biggest inspiration in this weight gain personally i really do love her she was the one that introduced me to all this science method and actually it is true it is true your body is really smart and i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in my next video bye